Hi guys, I'm Blake here today. Lily's Landing Resort and Marina. Lake Tani Como. It is June the 26th. And I'm gonna do the one cast for you today. We are just down here below Fall Creek Marina. And uh, I think they're flowing 20 mega. Do what now? Nope, not yet. That's what I keep hearing. Should have been here yesterday. Oh gosh. Yeah. Anyway, we got some chop on the water right here. It's right here below Dino's or Scooter's dock. And I've got my boat kind of positioned in the middle. I'm gonna fish out over the shelf here where the deeper water is. I got this set about six foot. I've got a ginger micro jig on and a black size 16 midge underneath. We're gonna see if we can make something happen here in this little bit of choppy water that we got. I actually managed to get out here in the morning time. So, uh, not too many fishing reports. Blake Harris had already been back by the dock and they caught their limits fishing 132nd ounce jigs anywhere from Short Creek all the way to Cooper Creek. There is a rainbow trout getting chased over there by something big. Nothing officially on the first cast. Somebody's calling me. I'll be right back, guys. Important phone call. I gotta take this one. Okay, I'm back. Oh, hey. <laughs> How about that? As soon as I press the camera button, that's usually the opposite effect. Whoa taking me way under the boat. And this fish wanted the micro jig. How about that? Try not to horse him. We got 6X tippet here in the net. I do got a trailer fly there, so I'll be careful when we're unhooking him. There we go. So yeah, we're fishing. I mean, you can see the ledge drop off, but it's probably even more, a little deeper, seven foot. I've got it set at about six or so. Cool. 
I will say that that 50th ounce marabou jig still something the guides are using still something we're catching fish on and it may even be working better than the micro jig I just hadn't thrown one in a while I've talked to a few people on the lake here that are saying kind of the same thing the guides said. Bite this morning, not quite as good as it was yesterday morning. keep a constant judge on the water depth here. I think we should even go a little deeper than where we're at right now. Comes Captain Tony Weldle. Yes, sir. I have to tell you about my big trout that I lost someday, sometime soon. Okay, I love those stories. and they lost a big fish this morning.
Well, we found one taker for the micro jig and I had one other bite that pulled my bobber all the way under while I was on that important phone call that I just set the rod down for. But other than that, not a lot of takers here. I wish I had some of those 50th ounce jigs with me to tie one on and just see if it makes that big of a difference. Because the way it's been working, I have a feeling it might. We've got the right water depth and the right chop here. Well, you know what, guys? For the last few minutes, let's just throw a jig and see if that does any better. Okay. One thirty second ounce sculpin jig. still going to cast in the same area here because the sun is up and I think those fish are a little bit deeper. Neither do those. That almost looks like a pink power worm rig. <laughs> that was Captain Chuck Grease. He is almost, for the most part, always throwing fly rods out of his boat. And I just, I thought it was pretty funny. This morning I went by and he was spin casting with double bobber pink power rigs. He went by me a second ago and saw me using the fly rod. And... All right, well, I got a feeling if I was gonna, if there was a jig bite happening over here, I at least got a bite by now. So I'm gonna probably call it a day. Got to see what one fish looked like today at least. We thank you guys for watching. Like and share us on Facebook, and we will be back again tomorrow. Until then.